So, you like Super Doomspire? Rank every weapon in a tier list, they said, and so I did. Welcome back everyone to today's video. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Hashi Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started in this video, make sure to subscribe for this Roblox drama, news, tips and tricks, and more. Don't forget to turn on the bell so that we never miss out on one of my videos, which are uploaded weekly to twice a week to three times a week. So, in today's video, we will be doing a tier list for all weapons ranked in Super Doomspire. These include, not reskins, but all the main weapons, including extra weapons too. How this tier list will work is I will individually go through each weapon and then you can skip to the end if you want to see all the weapons ranked to see the best weapons that I personally think in Super Doomspire. Please don't take this personal, this is just my personal opinion. Please leave your comments down below on what you thought of this tier list. I will also leave the link for the tier list in the description. So let's get started. Okay, so firstly, let's start off with our first weapon, the Arm Cannon. The Arm Cannon is good in the sense that it has the capability to fire three different levels of rockets, small, medium, large, and it very much varies in consistency. All rockets can be charged using the left mouse button. After four seconds, it's a round charge, but after firing any shot, it's extremely quick afterwards, which I really like about this weapon. It's a good substitute for the Hossog, and so back forth. So I'm going to place this weapon in the A tier because I don't believe it belongs in the S tier exactly, but I do believe it belongs in quite a high tier. Next up on our tier list is the ball turret. So the ball turret is a trowel that can be bought for around 5,000 crowns. The ball turret trowel will place down a turret and the turret is in standby until you hear like a beeping noise and then the turret will go off. This will shoot balls around the turret. You know what, I'd actually say this turret is actually really good. Like this is one of the best turrets in the game simply because of its ability to be able to control a center area using this ball turret. This works in infection, this works in more, and it's just overall a great weapon. So for this, I'm going to have to rank it in S tier, simply because it's a weapon I use a lot, it's a great weapon for infection and de generally all game modes, especially for all around weapons. Next up is the Bloomerang, but unlike the Boomerang, it actually has special features to it. When thrown, it can be touched simply to boost you in the air, it kind of works like a trampoline trowel in the sense. This allows a lot of like, ability when you're in danger, etc. And I think it's only downsides in terms of that is that it can only damage an enemy once, which I mean, other weapons like the shadow clone, etc. You're more for like one hit kill, whereas this one, you're more of multiple hit kills. But I wouldn't say this is more of a like kill weapon. This is more of a mobility weapon. So for this, I'm going to have to rank this in the A tier because I do use this weapon. However, its downside is that you can only throw it once. Up next is the Bombardier, which fires in around an arc and there's like straight four shots. This allows your rocket to fly over a place that a normal rocket would not. It increases as it travels, which is pretty good. However, when held, you move a lot slower, which kind of makes a hindering distance. It's definitely more for heavy players. So in terms of this weapon, I would definitely rate it a B, just because of it's like, I don't feel it's a weapon I would use because I find heavier weapons kind of slow you down in combat. Up next is the normal bomb. Now, the normal bomb in its sense isn't really anything special, so I'm just gonna rate this normal bomb a D tier. Because number one, the normal bomb rolls around, meaning it can't do that much damage. It doesn't really that stay in place, which just makes it an average weapon to be honest. Up next is the boomerang, which definitely has the special feature of going back and forth, which is a signature of the boomerang. However, I definitely say the boomerang beats the boomerang out in this tier, so unfortunately I'm going to have to rate this a B tier. Next up is the Brick Breaker. Now the Brick Breaker is actually one of the worst weapons in the game because it, even when breaking bricks, it doesn't even do that much. Plus it can only swing back and forth and its only thing is a mega hit, which you can definitely substitute for a frying pan. Overall, it's one of the worst weapons in the game. I hate it, goes in the D tier, goodbye, problematic, we do not stand. Next up is the Bridge Trial. Now the Bridge Trial I actually find to be just a really average weapon. Like, okay, you can do bridges, but at the same time, you can bomb jump to like not use those bridges. It's really good, however, in Roundcat Rally, so for that, it goes in the B tier. 
Next up is the cage trial. Now, a lot of people find the cage trial really useless just because like in combat, it isn't really practical to trap someone. However, the cage trial here is where it comes useful. It comes useful in infection where you can create yourself kind of like a mini barricade, etc. That's how most pro players win is they'll like wait it out at the bottom and there will be like zombies falling down. Oh, it's great. Anyways, this weapon will go in the A tier. Next up is the coconut. Now the coconut is actually a really good weapon in the sense that it has extra damage and it also has a lot of reskins, meaning it's a weapon that is commonly used. Therefore, it is going in the A tier. Next up is the crystal blaster. Now I absolutely love the crystal blaster. It's a weapon you see me using often in videos. I know everyone clowns on me. I used it in round cat rally, etc. Okay, but yeah, you get the point. Moving on, the crystal blasters where it really hits is construction damage, where it can make spawns fly off the map, which is mainly the strategy that I like to use. Crystal blaster is also amazing in combat, with it being one of the best weapons to use simply because of its damage, which can cause a one hit KO if you're near a player. It's good to kind of like kind of click shoot, boom. Period. We stand so hard. This one is going in the S tier. Next up is the Dark Heart. Now, the Dark Heart is just an average weapon to me. Okay, yeah, it takes away health, but it isn't a weapon I see myself using. So therefore, it goes in the B tier. Up after that is the Fire Sword, which again, is an average weapon. There's a reason it's rated three stars. However, you shouldn't always apply star ratings to have your weapons as good weapons. Next up is Frying Pan and Greatsword. Frying Pan belongs in the S tier by far because of its infection damage. It can knock out zombies in one hit. It's also great because of its knockback, which can knock enemies off the map. Definitely it belongs in S tier. Great Sword I would rate in between S tier and A tier simply because of its damage for certain modes. For example, for the normal mode, it may slow you down, which is kind of a bummer. So it goes in the A tier. Did you know that Home Runner is generally ranked as the best weapon by players in the game? Home Runner is an absolutely amazing weapon that belongs in the S tier. Home Runner's knockback and the rest can make it a very important weapon, especially with its batter up ability, which allows higher speed. Next up is the Hoss Hog, which is generally ranked as an A to S tier. Hoss Hog is great for mobility, hence it being a former motorcycle. I sort you could get with Code Frozen, it's generally ranked as an S to A tier weapon simply because it's better than the fire sword and leaves a freeze effect, which makes it very hard for your opponents to move. Laser cannon and paintball gun are generally regarded as A tier weapons simply because of their firing rate. Remote Denominator gets an S tier simply because of its abilities on mobile and it also has the ability to denominate whenever you want, making it great for construction damage. Rockstar is a weapon that has very good knockback. For this, I am putting it in the A tier. The normal rocket launcher actually has a lot of perks to it. it. With it being balanced, it can be the perfect balanced weapon for your game. Generally, I am going to put this in the B tier. Scope Shot is honestly a C tier weapon to me because there actually is no scope to it. It's just a very far launching rocket. However, it can be good, really good, for a round cat rally. Shadow Blade is an absolutely incredible weapon that belongs in the S tier. It is a better thing for the normal sword and has a great lunge ability which can get a lot of damage and is generally regarded as one of the best sword type weapons in the game. Let's review the whole shadow set next. Up first is the shadow clone. The shadow clone is probably the best trial in game due to its ability to like confuse players. After that is the shadow dragon. The shadow dragon I would honestly rank as C tier because it is only good in round cat rally. Other than that, it doesn't really have much of a use. After that is the Shadow Shuriken, which is actually the best Super Ball in game ranked by players because of its ability to one hit KO. However, you need to have some accuracy for this weapon. Slingshot is actually banned in tournaments because of how rigged it is. For this, I am ranking it at an A tier. Snowball, I am ranking a C tier due to the fact it's just an average weapon. Spike Trial is honestly useless because you can't really do anything with it, like who would be that susceptible to actually stepping on spikes? Therefore, it's kind of useless in the Doomspire mode. Square Bomb goes in the C tier simply because it has no use other than staying in place. The normal Super Ball goes in the B tier because it has no perks and there are many skins of the Super Ball. The Tennis Racket goes in the A tier because of its ability in Round Cat Rally. Trying to speed this up a little bit, so 
These three weapons go in the C tier. And that concludes the video. There's the tier list. Bye, everyone.